Hey friends all over the world, I want to tell you about the most dangerous thing ever. The most dangerous thing ever. When you think about danger, when you think about hazard, when you think about something that's extremely dangerous, that you have to be really cautious and careful about, this is one of the most dangerous things uh, on that list. And if you don't understand this, you're really going to have a hard time. So the sooner you recognize the danger in this, the better prepared you can be when you experience this. The most dangerous thing ever is the blessing, favor, and calling of God on your life. I don't think people really understand this, but it is dangerous to be blessed. Blessings are dangerous. Blessings can cost you. Blessings can cost the people around you. A lot of people want to be blessed, but they're not necessarily prepared to handle the danger that those blessings can create. Let me give you an example of what I mean by that. You see, when you're really blessed, when God really starts blessing you and it becomes evident to others, it can create jealousy, hatred. Sometimes people hate you just because you're blessed. They don't have any other reason. They have no other reason but the fact that the hand of God's on your life. It's not only going to cost you, but it's going to cost them. When Jonah was supposed to go to Nineveh, the hand of God was on him to go to Nineveh. He went the other direction and got in the boat. His disobedience to the call of God on his life cost everybody in the boat. Everybody in the boat, everybody in the boat was affected by Jonah's disobedience. Why? Because the hand of God was on his life. See, do you know that when when you're blessed, you got to be careful who you connect with, who you marry. You got to be connected who you go into business with, who you partner with. Because that blessing on your life will impact their lives. That favor on you will impact them. Favor is dangerous. Favor got Joseph thrown into a pit. Favor got him falsely accused in Potiphar's house. Favor got him betrayed in the prison. See, see, when, 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 when you are blessed, you are dangerous. <laughs> Somebody's going to get this, what I'm saying. When you're blessed, you are dangerous. You are dangerous. And a lot of times we want the blessings, we want all that stuff, but we're not necessarily willing to face the consequences of being blessed. To be blessed is to be misunderstood. To be blessed is to be envied. To be blessed is to be criticized. To be, to be, to be elevated is to get attention that you don't necessarily want. If God really starts promoting you, really starts promoting you and promoting your children, and your family, now your whole family is affected by that. Now all eyes are on them too. Everybody wants the blessing. Everybody wants God to use them and wants to be, you know, someone that has a voice in their generation. Being a voice will cost you. Being a voice will cost you. Being anointed will cost you. It won't, it, it won't only cost you, it will cost those connected to you. It's dangerous. You know, oh, 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 Lord, bless me. Do this, do that in my life. All right, I'll do it. But you have to be ready for what I'm going to do. You have to be ready for it. Are you prepared? Are you prepared for the blessing? 
Are you prepared for the scrutiny that it brings? Are you prepared for the criticism it has a tendency to create? Are you prepared for people trying to figure out why you? Why why did you give it to them? Why 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 them? Why are they the ones? Why God, why did you choose them? That's what happened with Moses. Moses got the blessing of an encounter with God. Moses got the a blessing of the anointing on his life. And the Israelites questioned him until the day they died. Paul had visions and revelations of the Lord that caused him to go into realms where he heard unspeakable things that is not lawful for a man to utter. And yet they called him a fossil, false apostle most of his life. Oh, I want a large following. I want a large following. I want people to follow me. Be careful what you're asking for. Be careful what you're asking for. The larger the following, the larger the exposure, or the greater the exposure, and the greater people have something to say about you. Yeah. Yeah. See, see, being blessed is dangerous. It's not only dangerous to your friends and your family members, it's dangerous to the kingdom of darkness. When you have the anointing on your life, you are a threat. You are an existential threat to everything that anointing destroys. See, the anointing destroys the yoke. So when you are anointed, you are a destroyer. You are, you are dis a, a destroyer of everything that's not of God. And because you are a destroyer of everything that's not of God, everything that's not of God will resist you, will fight you, will accuse you, will criticize you, because it, it, it knows that you're carrying the oil. When you're carrying the oil, you're dangerous. You are dangerous to the devil when you have the oil on your life. When you, when you, when you are walking in the power of God, the presence of God, the blessing of God, the promotion of God, you are dangerous. There are certain things that people will never say until you get blessed. Let me say this in closing. People aren't, aren't, aren't bothered by you when you're not walking in the blessing. They don't care anything about you. When you barely, when you're on barely get a long street, barely trying to get by, when you, you know, you're, 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 you know, you won't have a pot to piss in, as they say, and you're, you're struggling. People don't have any problem with you that mess around and get blessed and see what happens. Now you got some explaining to do. When you're struggling, when you're in bondage, mess around and get free. Well, start walking in freedom. Start walking in your identity. Start walking in who you are in Christ. Start walking in that dream, that dream that God gave you. Start seeing it come to fruition. Start seeing those things materialize in your life. Start seeing the, the manifestation of what you pray for. Now you got a problem. They don't mind you when you're struggling. They don't care. You're humble as long as you're struggling. When you're struggling or you're humble, oh, he really loves God. See, he's a humble man of God because he'll have nothing. He came, he came to church on a wheelbarrow. Look at God in his life. But let you drive something that's not a wheelbarrow. Let you walk in something that's not sackcloth and ashes. Now they'll judge you. They'll criticize you. They'll say you're prideful. <laughs> Y'all don't want to hear this. They'll say you're arrogant. Look at him. He's a, he used to be humble. Now he's arrogant. No, no, no. I'm just blessed. But see, the blessing is intimidating to those who aren't walking in it. Be careful. It's a dangerous thing. It's a dangerous thing. They won't have any problem with you as long as you're struggling, as long as you're hurting, as long as you need them. Start getting a prayer life of your own. Start getting victory over the things that you struggled with. And those people that used to run to for advice are no longer as relevant as they used to be. Now comes the accusation. Oh, now you're so prideful. You don't need me no more. No, I don't. Because God healed me. God delivered me. God set me free.
When you ask for something, saints, you better count the cost of what you're asking for. When you ask for the blessing, understand that the blessing is not cheap. That the blessing is not frivolous. Are you ready to be blessed? Share this.